Update Stefano and today will be a hot and humid start to your weekend and what better way to cool off than a refreshing summer cocktail. Julia Pettiprin, also Rachel Flores, they are from Homemakers Bar and uh, you will have just a thing to help us cool off. So what are you all going to be making today? Uh, so we're going to be making uh, our take on a Caprajinho, which is uh, the National Cocktail of Brazil. Mm -hmm. One of my favorites. Yes. Um, <laughs> so this is kind of our fun twist on it, which is what we like to nice. do. Um, so mm -hmm. this is going to be kind of the same build. Uh, we're going to muddle some limes, lime juice. This is a uh, papaya, mint, and lime oleo, Ooh. which essentially just means sugar and oil. Uh, we <laughs> that just sounds take, good. Take the essence of the <laughs> lime there. And then this beautifulness right over here. Uh, this is going to be cachaça, which is an aged Brazilian rum mm -hmm. um, with butterfly pea flower in it, which gives it that beautiful purple color um, and also London dry gin. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Yeah, it's <laughs> so, so fun. And we make everything fresh in house. So that papaya mint oleo mm -hmm. is super easy to make at home, but we make it we make it at Homemakers. And that's, I mean, a classic drink, but this is a really fun spin yes. on it. And so what gives you the idea to kind of create this and kind of put a, you know, a nice little spin to it? Personally, it's what do I want to be drinking on an uh -huh. 81 degree day in Cincinnati? <laughs> uh, I wish I was in Brazil. Yeah. So. <laughs> so here we are. Yeah, so yeah. show us how, how you make it. Yeah. So we're going to take a couple of limes here. And that's the key. You have to have like fresh limes. Fresh right? limes. We do juice fresh, but the fresh limes do give a little bit more of a... Uh, Punch. A punch, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, and a caipirinha does. It's just, it's yes. typically just muddled lime, mm -hmm. a little sugar, and um, some cachaça. Yeah, it's like such a clean drink, you know? Yeah. It's, it has a little bit of sweetness to it as well. And so, of all the cocktails, would you say that this is like an easy one to make, or is it kind of challenging, or? Yeah, I would say it's pretty easy. We, so, while we spend a lot of time prepping mm -hmm. back of house stuff, making all the syrups, uh, juicing. When it comes to the bar, like the guest facing side, uh -huh. we make them super easy to make so we can make them fast for you so you don't have to wait too long. Okay, awesome. And so Homemakers Bar, you guys have been in OTR for four years? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's incredible. It's crazy. It's been a wild ride. <laughs> <laughs> so for people who haven't been out there yet, kind of describe what, how would you describe the bar? Yeah, so it's a super fun, we are a craft cocktail bar first. Like I said, we do everything in-house. Um, um, but we like to. <laughs> um, we're wrapped in a super friendly and fun environment. So it's nostalgia's everywhere. We have a chandelier made out of silverware. Oh we have um, like my grandma's old like souvenir spoons. Our bar top has broken china on it. Love it. Yeah. So it's super fun. But um, and we try to, you know, we always say we take our craft seriously, but not ourselves. Yes. I love so it. we have fun purple drinks like this because mm -hmm. that's what we want to drink. How beautiful summer. is that? Yeah. My goodness. This is one of those drinks that as soon as I make it, everybody's like, what, what is that? I know, right? Yeah. I want one of those. Who I'm one is of those she? <laughs> yeah, I love it. And so as far as um, just creating the menu, switching it up, how often do you all do that? Yeah, we do that twice a year, and this year we, um, we're we on our second menu of the year, but we did a whole uh, retro theme with the, you can see the menu here on the bar top, at, or on the tabletop here, mm -hmm. um, so uh, video game inspired, sort of, and then um, the other one was like very retro, like old school names, yeah, there we go. And then we yes. have like, yeah, oh, yeah. And just on like the, different <laughs> covers. Yeah, on the back is different old yeah. magazine covers from the, the 90s. Just something to make you go, oh my gosh. I yeah, just that. to make you feel warm and fuzzy, <laughs> and you know. How would you say that your bar stands out from all the other ones in OTR? Why do people have to come out to you guys? Yeah, well, we have the best cocktails in the city. Plus, I, I'm there. <laughs> yeah, I know. I love you ladies. You guys are probably going to get those cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> but we do. We have so much fun. Um, we have... You know, we have little light bikes, like we make salami roll-ups, and we have a unique three-person infinite runner video game in there. So all our, all our cocktails are fresh. We're having a great time, and we have fun uh, cocktails like this I'm coming in around. for this one. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. my favorite cocktail, so I'm, I'm happy to try this out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, thank you all so much for coming in. I, I guess I'll see you sometime this week. Yes, please. Next weekend. Yes, please. <laughs> also still to come, the Bearcats, they had their first Big 12 media 